In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to turn off sync in the Google Photos app so that the photos on your phone will no longer sync with Google Photos. This will not affect anything that is already synced in the past. Any photos that have already been backed up to Google Photos will still be on Google Photos. And if you've done something like deleting photos from Google Photos, those photos will still be deleted from your phone because those changes all happened when sync was on, so they've already been synced. But this will stop any new syncing from happening in the future. So if you take a new photo on your phone, it won't be backed up to Google Photos. And if you delete or edit a photo on Google Photos, those changes will not show up on your phone. To do this, you'll need to open up the Google Photos app and then Tap on your profile picture in the top right hand corner here. And now in this menu that appears, tap backup here. And now if you currently have any photos still backing up to Google Photos, you might see some progress here, but for Timmy it just says your backup is complete. But now we have this switch here and all you really need to do is tap on this switch to turn it off and now backup is off. If you're doing this on an iPhone, you might need to go one step further and tap on this settings icon to then find the switch here and turn it off. But now, once you've turned that switch off, if you go back out of the settings menu, back to the main Google Photos screen here, you'll see if you look closely at your profile picture, it will now have a little gray cloud icon on it and that means sync has been disabled. So now you're basically done. Now that the backup setting is turned off, your phone and Google Photos will no longer be syncing between each other. But if you continue to do things in the Google Photos app, now that sync is turned off, there are a few somewhat confusing things you want to be aware of because it will now show you any photos that have been backed up to Google Photos, as well as any photos that are on your phone and not backed up to Google Photos. So if you were to take a new picture on your phone, now that backup has been turned off, so you take a picture. Obviously, now that when you take a new picture, it obviously won't be backed up to Google Photos because you've turned backup off and you'll obviously still see it in your phone's gallery app or files app and things like that. If you pull up images on your phone in a different app without using the Google Photos app. But this new picture will also show up in the Google Photos app, which is where it can get a bit confusing. The picture is showing up in here and you can look at it and everything just like you normally would with any picture in Google Photos, but this picture is not going to back up to Google Photos because we've turned sync off. So if we look closely here at some of the pictures that have already been backed up to Google Photos, you'll see they all have this little cloud icon and a tick in the bottom corner of each of them. But this photo does not have that cloud icon because this photo is not on Google Photos. So if Timmy goes to the Google Photos website or the Google Photos app on another device, Timmy will not see this photo because it's not actually on Google Photos. It's just showing up here on this phone because it's also able to show any photos that are on this phone. So that's a bit confusing, but once you understand it, it's not too bad. And it is actually kind of handy if you still want to look at your photos in Google Photos, even though backup is turned off. But this also adds some complications if you're trying to delete photos. If you have a new photo like this that has not been backed up to Google Photos and you want to delete it, you would just select it like normal and tap the delete button and put it in the trash. And this will obviously just delete that photo from your phone because it's not on Google Photos, it's just on your phone. So deleting it will only delete it from your phone. But if you wanted to delete this photo, for example, this photo is currently on Google Photos and it's also on Timmy's phone. 
So even though sync is turned off, there is actually still identical copies of the photo in both places. So it's just sort of merged them here and it's showing them both as one photo. So that means if you were to delete this photo, that will actually delete it from your phone as well as deleting it from Google Photos, even though sync is turned off. So if you've turned sync off and you now want to delete a whole lot of photos from Google Photos, but still keep them on your phone, you need to delete them from Google Photos somewhere outside of this exact app. You could use the Google Photos app on a tablet or the Google Photos app on an old phone you might have, or you could use the Google Photos website on a computer, or you could even use the Google Photos website on this very phone, which Timmy's going to do. But you just need to access Google Photos without using this specific app on this specific phone. So Timmy's going to pull up Google Chrome and just go to photos.google.com in here but you could access Google Photos any way you want, as long as it's not in that app on this phone. And now, all the photos you see here will be the versions that are only on Google Photos. So, now that Sync is turned off on the app, you can delete the photo from here, and it will only delete the photo from Google Photos. And if you had Sync on, deleting the photo from Google Photos would then make it delete the photo from your phone. But because sync is off, you can now come in here and delete these photos and they will not be deleted from your phone. So to select photos on the phone website here, you have to tap these three dots and then tap select photos. But now we could select a bunch of photos and maybe we want to delete all of these. So we'll select these ones and delete them. So we'll tap the trash icon and tap move to trash. And now those photos have been deleted from Google Photos. But if we come in here, they will still be on Timmy's phone. And what's going to happen now in the Google Photos app is we'll see the photos we deleted are actually still showing here. But the little cloud icon with the tick in it is gone on those photos. So we can see this photo is still on Google Photos as well as being on Timmy's phone. And this photo has a tick, but this photo here is now only on Timmy's phone because we deleted it from the Google Photos website. So that doesn't have a tick, just like when we took a new photo before. So these ones don't have ticks. And then down here we have more ticks where they were backed up to Google Photos but now that will have deleted those photos from Google Photos. And obviously, if you look at your phone's files app or gallery app or anything like that, those photos will still be in here because they're still on your phone. Sorry if this is starting to sound long-winded and confusing, but what to me is basically trying to say is when you take new photos, you'll still see them in the Google Photos app even though they won't be uploaded to Google Photos. And if you want to delete photos from Google Photos, but keep them on your phone, you need to make sure you use the Google Photos website or the app on another device to delete those photos. Otherwise, the photos will still be removed from your phone as well. And one last thing, if you ever turn back up on again, obviously, any new photos that you've taken that were not backed up to Google Photos will start backing up to Google Photos. So it might spend a while backing up a whole lot of new photos. And it's important to keep in mind any photos that you deleted from Google Photos while backup was turned off will now also be deleted from your phone. So if you deleted photos from Google Photos and you're planning to just keep those photos on your phone, you want to make sure you never turn backup back on for this account. Otherwise, the photos will be removed from your phone as well as being removed from Google Photos and then you won't have them anywhere anymore, which would not be good. But that's all there is to this video. To me, wouldn't normally recommend people turn off sync like this because it is kind of nice to have your photos backing up to Google Photos. But if you have a specific reason that you want to do this, 
This is how you can do it.